What's up guys, Bova the Fail Handed here bringing you the Art of the Hellcat Part 2. Here we are on Siegfried Line, the greens are on the north spawn, the reds are on the southern spawn. Now, the way I run TDs, the way I run this tank, is this is a field tank. If you have a good line of sight, you can stay out of view range. I mean, typical tank destroyer, you know, gameplay. If you do these things, you stay out of view range, you will be fine. In the city, unless, you know, you're in a very, very heavily armored tank, you know, that's not really where you want to be. If you can go in there, you can slug it out with the heavies, have at it. The E3 comes to mind. <clears throat> this tank, however, does not need to be out there slinging it out with the heavies. So, I don't really know a whole lot about all the best TD spots. I don't really run TDs. Granted, I'm running a TD now. But, I'm just kind of, you know, I'm getting in a spot where I can get out of dodge quickly. I do have six cents on this tank. I think that's probably the only skill I have. You know, I, I don't even really try if I don't have six cents. It's that sad. Now, I would say at this time, this tank has excellent gun depression. Mainly because the breach of the gun can go up through the roof of the tank obviously since it doesn't have a roof so <laughs> open top tanks are are normally going to have very good gun depression my man is going out there right now trying to Dirty scout line. some stuff we've got a guy there burning towards cover we go ahead and put a round in him more luck than skill or I don't know maybe the other way around lots of targets of opportunity out here now <laughs> you will see my ammunition load out you know, I mentioned that this tank has nothing but, you know, tier 10 penetration when you load APCR. So I was just kind of toying with the equipment loadout and, you know, supply loadout and just kind of decided to see exactly what would happen if I penetrated quite a number of rounds, you know, even using premium am ammunition. And the answer, of course, is lose money every single game. Now I kind of understand where all the Death Star players come from. So they say, yeah, you know, if I run premium ammunition, I lose money no matter how much damage I do. I'm sure there's some out there that end up making money with it, even if they do run premium rounds. So, you know, at any rate, this is a test. Normally, I would recommend, you know, 50-50, you know, half AP, half APCR. I've never been a big fan of high explosive, except of course on the derp gun. Most of the time those just, you know, disappoint. They don't really, you know, do what they're supposed to do. You expect you're going to hit somebody and they're going to, you know, blow out of hell, but they end up doing nothing. You end up doing less damage than you would have normally. So, at any rate, I would like to mention at the time the gun does do a standard 250 damage approximately. Granted, of course, this is, you know, situational now you will see that my turret is slow okay just a second ago you saw how slow it was I went ahead and augmented the turret with a turn of the tracks to make the turret turn smartly in other words and the situation that I was doing he was looking at me and all I was doing was just rocking back and forth sideways and that just kinda you know you don't ever want to give any free shots so right now I've kinda got a guy pushing me here the, the downside for him is he is not pushing me as fast as his DPM allows. Those tanks have incredible DPM. I, however, do not. The answer is he should have really put some heat on me. That might have changed things. 2,078 damage. Lost loads of money. <laughs> what are you going to do? Guys, thank you for watching The Art of the Hellcat Part 2. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.